child. Hey, hello, Lulas. Hello, Lulas. Welcome back to my channel, guys. Make sure you subscribe to this channel. Click the bell to be a part of the notification squad. Drop down into the comment section. There is links usually in the description bar for whatever and ever, whatever. Anyway, so today I have Mr. Noah Pooh, and as you guys can see, he is still in his Winnie the Pooh. I absolutely don't want to change him out of this. <laughs> I'm going to give him a bottle. Oh, I didn't bring a little burping cloth or a bib. Why do I do that? I always forget. Mm. Okay. I was going to give him a bottle, but I know he's going to make a mess. And then once he make a mess, he's not going to be able to wear this again. Okay, so we're going we're gonna to try it anyway. Come on, babe. Let me see if I got something. Mm. Most ghettoest thing ever in the world. Here we go. But I haven't given him a bottle in a long time, so I thought I would give him a bottle. So, yes, he has a drinking wet. Um, and... Ooh, babe. Okay. But yeah, he has a drink and wet system. Um, Noah is the uh, willow asleep. Ooh, is this thing leaking under the, the... It is under the thing. Not from his mouth, but from the rim. I need to get another bottle. I use the same bottle all the time. And it's always like... Anyway, um, he is the willow asleep by Claire Teller. He is actually fully completed by Claire Teller because he was the prototype number two. So he sculpted, poured, painted, rooted by Claire Teller herself. Um, so he does have a drinking wet and he this bottle is warm. So it's so funny because I know when he's drinking because I can feel his diaper getting warm and warming up. Um, one of the things I want to talk about while I give him this bottle, Lord have mercy, boy, you Oh, Lord. Look. Mm-mm. This too much. I can't take it. It's, he, getting, he getting wet. Wetting up this onesie. Somebody got to wear this. I got to hang it up. Uh, <laughs> um, anyway. But one of the things that go back and forth all the time in the community is Oh my God, is drinking wet safe? Oh my God, are they going to mold? Oh my God, this and other. And it's like, I, like I said, I do research on everything. I talk to, you know, um, different sculptors and stuff like that. And I, I sat and I had a long, in-depth conversation with Melissa McCory. And for some of you guys that are new, that don't know who Melissa McCory is, she is a legend in this community because she is the first person to actually do um, platinum silicone. I believe Rita Rich Arnold did 10 silicone, which 10 silicone was later to find out that it falls apart and it like just start breaking down over time. So you don't never want a 10 silicone because you don't have to even be playing with another. It just start falling apart. Anyway, but she was the first one and uh silicone baby silicone baby silicone baby dana um on youtube was the first youtuber to have introduce us to silicone babies and she had a thousand melissa mccory babies mccory babies there anyway i talked to her and uh, i'm like an old lady my stories be so long just to get to the point girl get to the point Basically, she says she's had a drink and wet since 19, blah, 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 blah. And it's still fine. No mold, no nothing. All you got to do is just use water. But you guys want to get creative and start putting all types of crap in your dolls that you ain't got no business doing. And then you want to look crazy. So that's to you. So anyway, um, and I, I have, you know, fed them a little bit of alcohol here and there sometime just to cleanse, you know, so it run through and it cleanse and evaporates anything if it's anything left inside Whoa. but um you know it's totally up to you i mean how many of you guys have bought a car 
How many of you guys buy the car brand new? How many of you guys know about the fourth or fifth year that car is going to start having problems? How many of you either trade it in or the car end up being so many problems, you just sell it, whatever, get rid of it? Or you just fix it up, keep it, pass it on to the next person who, you know, need to start a car in your family, young kid, teenager, whatever. How much do you pay for your cars? Okay, I get it. Cars are something that we need to get back and forth to work. Dolls is not. But how many of you guys buy clothes, you outgrow, can't wear it no more, get a stain on it, can't get it out, spent hundreds of dollars for the outfit? My point is, in life, things come and they go. And also things have wear and tear. I am not going to sit here and become a mad scientist and drive myself insane because I'm trying to figure out if this doll is going to last me 30 years or not when I might be dead and gone anyway. And I don't care if it don't last for the next person because <laughs> I'm selfish. Um, but seriously, I, I, I think it's okay if you take good care of it and I guess maybe it could have something to do with if it's installed properly. That might help. Oh my God, his diaper is like so super warm, guys. Oh my gosh, that feels like a real baby have wet his diaper. Look at him. The, let me show y'all the line. Y'all see the line? It's turned green. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's green. It's green. It's green, mama. Chop wet it up. <laughs> um, you know, it's just like armatures. People be like, I don't know about armatures because over time it's going to poke through the doll. I've had dolls that has had armatures and I've done, you know, daily routines with them, everything and armatures. Still fine, no issues. Not saying that they won't poke through because I've heard stories. I'm just saying, like, there's always gonna be something people wanna freak you out. But the other thing I wanna talk to you guys because I wanna not get off track while my memory is here. Yes, God, I got a memory. Um, What was I was gonna say? Oh gosh. Oh yeah, buying and selling, buying and selling. So I'm just going to give you guys my unpopular um, opinion about the safety photo thing. And I'm going to, I'm going to try to not come across as whatever, but I'm, this is just, just how I feel about it. First of all, with technology today, ain't nothing fool's proof. Because people edit stuff in. I remember when I um, first seen one where they put the safety pic on somebody else's picture. People do that. The other thing is, you know, you can even see where they even, people um, play with like messages from other people and text messages. And stuff. It's so much technology out here. If they want to fool you and make you think that they have that baby, they will do that. Here's my thing. I don't think this safety picks are um, valuable. I don't think that it it helps anything out. Because here's another thing. They could actually put a safety pick on the baby, show you the baby, still don't send you the doll. So what difference does it make? My whole thing is don't buy from people you don't trust. If you feel like you need a safety pick, that's the problem because you don't trust that person you're not sure you're not confident that you're dealing with a trustworthy person if you ask me for a safety pick I'm gonna tell you I if I don't have one already taken it ain't gonna happen I will post one sometime when I'm really trying to sell a doll and the group requires it I will do that because every group have their rules and whatever they say if you want to be in that group you have to go by that rule Period. Ain't no, ain't no debating it. It's not up for debate. It's their, it's their group. So 
They say they need a safety pick, do the safety pick. For me, a lot of times I prefer not even just try not even, I just don't even worry about selling in them groups for the most part because I'm not feeling like going right on no paper and all that and stuff. But if I wanted to sell in that group, I would just do a safety pick. But for me personally, I don't think that they hold any value and I don't think that they're going to help you prevent anything um, because some people still may not get their doll or get the doll that they send you the safety pick of. There's no guarantee with how we shop online. We are all taking risk um, and you know, every, 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 when you're shopping online, for one, you can't touch it. You don't know what it feel like. You don't know what it really look like off camera. It's just so many different variables when you're shopping online. So the only thing you can do is do your research and buy from people that you trust. Um, someone was asking me all types of stuff like, you know, safety pictures, da 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 da, da all this stuff. Um, and you know, it's like, I do a million videos <laughs> and live streams and show my baby. So I definitely have the baby, but you know, I have to take in consideration that everybody don't watch my YouTube channel, you know, so I get it. But I'm telling you guys that are watching my channel as a new person, if you, if you think that's going to save you, it's not. If you think that that's going to guarantee that to you that you're going to get that baby that you're looking for. I was going to put him on this diaper. Mm, but I don't know. I think I'm going to put him back on a huggy. I, I think I'll put him on a huggy. But, um, yeah, it's not. So, I, I think that it used to be a thing back in the day before people just started getting really extremely crooked and and scamming. The scams are so deep, you never, let me lean you forward, let's make sure. Yeah, make sure, make sure we got all of it out. You got all of it out. <laughs> you got all of it out, boy. <laughs> Get your good boy. Okay. <laughs> um. But yeah, I just, I, I just don't don't think that it's going to work for you. I mean, not saying that, that you're not going to get it or whatever, but it's not going to guarantee it is what I'm saying. So I don't, I don't really get into all that. If I, if I feel like I need to ask somebody for a safety picture, I am not buying from that person because if I don't trust that you actually have the doll, then you know what? It ain't worth it for me. I was actually looking at, um, someone was trying to sell a kit to me, a blank kit to me, a vinyl kit to me. And in my mind, for some whatever reason, I just started feeling like, I, don't, I got a feeling this person might not even have this kit. I don't know why they just, it just seemed kind of odd i'd never really seen them in the community or anything and then they just pop up and say hey i got a kit and i was like yeah no thank you you know i'm not gonna ask them for no safety pick because my my gut feeling is already telling me it's a no so and y'all know how that is you know how when you go against your gut you always end up with a tummy ache because you should follow your first mind, first instinct, women inst intuition, or whatever the, all the different sayings it is. You're so cute, Maggie. Maggie's over there. <laughs> She's so cute. I just love her. I'm going to have to pick up so y'all can see her real quick. My little Noah Pooh. I, I got to get him a, I want to get him a, a different kind of bed for my room. But I haven't figured out decided on which one because as I redo my room you know he a part of my room decor <laughs> he has to have a, a nice bed I want him to have a, something fancy something that's you know look expensive and elegant and classy 
and I just want him to be a part of the thing. So I am looking, I'm thinking about doing like a, uh, what do you call it? What you call them things? Like not wicker. Is it wicker? Something like that. Um, type bedding. That's going to, you know, look like nature, outdoors type thing. Because, you know, my theme is going to be relaxing, coastal, spa, all that stuff. So, that's what I'm looking for for him. But, um, yeah, so I just, you know, I'm just not into it. Um... And sometimes, I'll be honest with you, I really believe that sometimes some people, when you're trying to sell stuff, sometimes people write you on purpose and ask you a lot of questions just to irritate you. They have no intention on buying. And, you know, it. it's definitely, like, obvious sometimes. Because you're like, hmm okay but for me you know i'm i'm always for a quick sale like if you know i'll answer your questions but if someone else while you're asking a million questions if someone else comes to me and say i got money and i'm ready to pay i'm gonna sell to that person and i'll just get back with you and say hey it's so because, you know, nobody really, wa I, I don't know, sometimes I feel like if somebody starts out being problematic, then you're definitely going to have issues later on down, down the road. That's just my thought process. I just think that, you know, in the past, the people that I have had a few issues with was people that started out, like, asking you know, doing d odd things and saying odd things that was outside of the normal process. Oh, my boy. Oh, my gosh. He looks so good in these colors, too. I say I'm so cute. <laughs> so, this is his, his little outfit for the next couple weeks, probably. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Like, that's the thing about these babies. You don't have to dress them every single day. Sometimes it's just looking at them, getting them posed. Now, his hair needs to be done. It's, it's looking pretty dry. And I'm thinking I'll probably have to put a little bit of um, water and conditioner on it. Just a little bit of conditioner in there, maybe. Um, Sometimes fabric softener will do it, too. Um... But, yeah, it's looking a little dull. But, say, I will get that fixed. So, anyway, really quick. I know this is a long video. I I, mean, I, I keep saying I'm going to do really short videos. But it just don't never happen. Look at this little girl. <laughs> is she cute? She's wearing one of the little outfits from um, Jeannie, Janie Lennox. Um yeah oh i also been asking around for different look at i've been asking around for um i might end up reweighting her i waited her to be a big girl but i'm so used to my baby being floppy and heavy i don't know but you know she 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 good for now she looks so cute like her painting just came out really good but um, I've been asking around for people that actually um, do like custom clothing and stuff like that. I am expecting some preemies. And you guys know my, my babies don't wear much clothes. But preemies, like the micro preemies outside of regular Carter size clothes, you know, it's hard to find. And I want to be able to, you know, buy a few little things. But I want to get the babies in and see all the sizes. And I want to try to, the ones that wear similar sizes, see what 
I would like in them all that they could kind of wear each other clothes. So I'm going to be doing that. And I'm looking for other people that do custom orders or have stuff that they already have made to sell. I don't want to spend, you know, a whole grip on it. Whatever is a grip. What is a grip? I don't know if it's a grip. Whatever. I don't want to spend a whole lot on the clothes. But I know it costs because they're so little and tedious and I'm having to sew it and stuff like that. But I'm looking for people that actually make custom items for little babies that don't look like it's made. You know what I mean? You see some outfits that look, you could tell that somebody handmade it. I don't, I, I'm looking for something that is very well made. Like I want it to look very store bought, so to speak. Like I want it, and I want it to fit. I don't want it to be like, you know, you got the seam showing and the gathers showing and all that stuff. So I'm, I'm looking around. I got some good um, people, referred some people, a lot of prototype artists refer some of the people that they use for their prototypes and stuff like that. So I'm going to be looking at that. Today is a big day for me because I'm going to get a baby that I'm going to get to see and hopefully the size is right for this baby. Um, but I'm just, yeah, I'm just really, really looking for someone. And then every now and then, some of my babies, I like to send a special outfit home with them. Um, especially if it's like a prototype or it's a, um, not that I'm going to be doing a lot of prototypes, but you never know when I do one here and there, I do want to have someone that I can go to for that. And that's going to, you know, be able to get the order to me, you know, in a timely fashion that, you know, actually can, you know, make, you know, things off of what I send them like as I show them a picture and say hey I want can you do this they can do it you know what I mean um so I'm looking for that kind of stuff right now um what else yeah and I know a lot of people love knits and stuff I am not big on knits okay just FYI I'm looking for actual clothing type things I don't mind knitted stuff I like some knitted stuff but I'm not one of those people like, oh my God, I gotta have the knitted. I do like knitted booties. I like knitted hats. I like knitted blankets. Beyond that, I'm not really that much of a knit person. Some stuff I see is like, oh my God, that's really cute. But I don't know. I like it on other people's babies, but uh, I just don't want to dress my baby in yarn. Okay, that didn't sound right. I'm sorry. That's 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 not good. I just it's just not my thing but I love it on other people babies just not my thing I guess because my real babies never wore anything knitted beyond a hat and maybe some booties and maybe had a blanket I don't even know if my babies even had a knitted blanket I don't think they did I'll have to ask my mom I know my grandma knit and crochet a lot growing up and so they must have had a blanket. No, because I would have still had it. My grandma made something. I would still have it. So no, she did not make my baby's blankets. I think she started making blankets when I had my last son. And she was making it for the babies that came after him. She never made my babies a blanket. Grandma, you never made my babies a blanket. Okay. Anyway, talk to you guys later. Come on, Noah. I'm sorry I'm far away, but in order for me to sit here and look at y'all and talk to y'all, y'all gotta make a choice. Do y'all want to see me and the baby or just the baby? I'll do a closer up video of him in just a moment. Hang on.